Hey everyone, it's Colin. I am so stoked right now and I want to share my enthusiasm with all of you. I just left and bought my fourth bike. Yes, that's fourth. And there's only going to be two in my garage, but my fourth bike from uh, All-American Harley Davidson. And you always hear um, about when people have great experiences, uh, they don't share it as much, but they do share bad experiences. So I'm going to share a good experience with this. Uh, these guys were phenomenal. I mean, from start to finish, from pre-ordering the bike to finally getting it in to working with me on, on parts and everything, uh, I, I can't thank them enough. You know, All-American Harley-Davidson, if you're near the D.C. area, I'd highly recommend taking a trek out to Southern Maryland and visiting them. Well worth the trip. You know, the director of operations named Lyndon and uh, Keith, who's the sales manager, Jess, who's the director of marketing, to Katie, who actually helped me with the whole entire sales process. Uh, phenomenal people. It's, it's so cool when you can go into a dealership and they make you feel like you're part of the family. And they do there. And, and, and that's what I love. I love going to a place where you feel welcomed. And, and I felt that there. And, and, and that's cool. You know, I hate hearing stories about bad dealerships. You know, one of my good friends just had a bad experience at a dealership. That was Bo Dean. He went another, what, 50 miles, I believe, 50 or 60 miles to a different dealership, and it was the complete opposite. Phenomenal service he got, and now he's going to buy his bike from that dealer, or he bought the bike from his dealer, but any future purchases will be done at that dealership and not the first one he went to, all because of service. So you're probably wondering, like, why am I not riding my new Pan America home? Uh, first, uh, I rode the street glide in like an idiot. Uh, second, obviously it needs some parts. It's not ready yet. Uh, seeing that gauntlet gray up close, you know, I, I dig the orange, I really do, it's, it's a nice color, but the gauntlet gray in that bike is so freaking badass, and when you see it in person, it is amazing, the look of it. So they needed to install some stuff. You know, what's funny is, I don't know if you guys know this, but there are a lot of parts, especially like kind of any like automotive industry, trucks, cars, anything, there's a ton of stuff that's on back order. Um, and I realized like half the stuff I've ordered for that bike, for the Pan America, it's still on back order. And I might not see some of those things until October. It's not the fault of the dealership. It's the fault of, they just can't manufacture them. So I, like I, I have a couple parts that are coming in actually October. Um, and that's gonna be my panniers. So my bags, I won't even have any type of saddlebags for a couple months, but I'll have a backpack I could throw on. So like half the parts are there and half that aren't. But the things that are there, which are cool, I'm getting a stage upgrade. So I'm getting the uh, stage one uh, with air. So I'm gonna have them install that. Some of the things I'm putting on the bike, uh, half of them, like some of these that are already there, it's like the muffler guard, the radiator guard, uh, those are there. Uh, the tank bag's actually there and a couple of the mounting brackets for the, um, for the bags in the back, uh, but obviously no bags but we are still waiting on a couple other things. So I ended up getting like tying nine or 10 different accessories to add to the uh, Pan America special. Um, so I'm pumped about getting everything and it, it is what it is. I, I can't control that, right? And it's actually funny because I actually purchased uh, some 12 inch LA choppers for this bike that was originally supposed to be coming in late June. Uh, now they pushed it back to late July. So almost a month has been pushed back uh, because it's back ordered and they haven't come in yet. So when that comes in, I'll eventually change these stock bars to 12 inch. I'm pumped for that. But I, I tell you what, guys, I'm so excited. And you know, if I've obviously, if I bought four bikes from these folks, uh, you know they're a good dealer, right? You know, when you're buying a new bike, especially like uh, one that's kind of a different riding style that you do, I had to buy new gear. Uh, I'm wearing one right now. This is a thing called Tour Master. I just got this in the mail yesterday sorry my eyes itching uh, this thing's comfortable as hell uh, it's a little bit different than what I'm used to I mean I have a mess jacket but this is specifically kind of like designed for the ADV rider got some new gloves so I want to try those out and, and uh, buying gear online is kind of sometimes a pain in the ass because you don't know the exact sizes even though I did the measurements I still found that uh, I was off on the pants so I have to return the pants and I'm a big dude I don't think I'm like overly fat but I mean I'm a pretty solid guy let's just put it that way uh, and I ordered like a 2XL for the pants thinking it would easily fit me and then like the worst feeling is and guys can relate to this and women can too obviously but when you're putting on a pair of pants and you can't like snap them and you can't pull them up you're like oh man I just need like another two inches and I'll be good 
And so I wanted those things to fit so bad, but they didn't. But they're going to take them back and they're going to send me a new pair, which is awesome, a little bit larger. I've never had anything 3X in my life, but hey, let's see what, let's see what comes out. Once I ride with these uh, for a while, I'll do a review on them down the road. But uh, first impressions of this uh, gear that I'm wearing right now, absolutely love. Freaking air is great on it, a lot of features on it. But that's not the point of this video. The point of this video is to share the excitement with you about first having a great dealership experience with the new Pan America. And second, um, ask you guys a question. You know, and I, I've pretty much already decided which way I'm going, but I've had a couple people text me and email me saying, are you gonna do a different channel for the Pan America? I started thinking about it, you know, it, it, you know, part of me said, you know what, it's probably not a bad idea to do a channel specifically just around the Pan America. But then after I thought about it a while, I'm like, well, no, uh, I'm probably going to stick just to my main channel. One, because it's a pain in the ass to manage two channels, much less three or four or five. But uh, I'm happy just with one right now. And I'll just mix it up, right? You know, I mean, I look at it this way. I'm the same dude as I am on this bike, the Street Glide Special, I'll be as a Pan America. It's going to be a little bit different type of riding style. I'm going to show you guys more me doing off-roading. You know, I look at it this way, man. I fit that demographic. I fit that demographic which Harley's looking for. Someone to kind of like buy a second bike. I mean, I'm a middle-aged guy, early 50s. I've always wanted to be in adventure riding. You know, I've had some people say, what the hell are you thinking? You're going to be off-road. You're going to kill your back. Yeah, that's a possibility, but I only live once, so I'm going to do it. And not worry about it and I'll cross that bridge if my back starts acting up but I, I did my dirt bike class I, I, I did some training already I'm gonna do more training uh, down the road with an ADV class but you know just trying to learn skills on the new bike and I can't wait to get it out there off-road so I just want to know your guys thoughts on that like single versus two channels but I'll probably end up keeping just one uh, but that's it guys wanted to uh, express my happiness to everybody that I'm so pumped and I can't wait to pick it up next week. I'm gonna have an awesome trip with my good friends Jack and uh, Bo Dean and all our wives. We're going up to Tennessee. We're gonna spend a, a week in the Gatlinburg Pigeon Forge, uh, Smoky Mountain National Park. And we're gonna tear it up down there and then I'm gonna come back and once I get home, I'll crash. Next day, I'm gonna go out and pick up my brand new bike. I'm excited, everything will be ready and life will be grand. All right guys, now get out there and ride, be well, and I'll talk to you soon.